Hi, my name is Barry Thomas and welcome to Live Well with Barry. It's a lifestyle magazine show that covers everything from health, fitness, nutrition, and of course, the wonderful things in life like food, fashion, music, all of those will be covered over the next few weeks. Today we're on the road, we're in Brixton at a wonderful oasis called Unit 16, which is Brixton Market Row, a healthy juice bar, and in front of me I have carrot, orange and ginger. Not my favorite, the one I had earlier, which was pear. What else was it? Nancy, talk to me. There you go, pear, apple and lime from our own fair hand, Nancy. Now that was wonderful. We're on the road, as I say, so please come to this great place, Unit 16 in Brixton Market Row, the Oasis. And the great thing about this place is, after six, it turns into a cocktail bar. So those healthy juices that you've been drinking all day are then incorporated with vodka, rum, and scotch, and you can get drunk. Now, come follow me to the next place. We're on the road. Hi, we're at the second stop. Pop Brixton on Station Road with Mr. Ron Lacey. Now, as you can see, Kionocha, a wonderful sushi oasis in the middle of Brixton. Who would think? Now, this is one of my favorite things, sushi. I could actually eat sushi every day without complaining. So please tell me your journey to being a sushi chef. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, it's a long journey. I've been involved with Japanese food for about 20 years, but I've always loved fish. So right. one thing led to another and I ended up making sushi. Lived in uh, Japan for six years, my wife's Japanese. Oh, well you've been taught go. by the best, you've got an well, advantage. Well, I've, I've worked with lots of Japanese guys, Japanese chefs, picked up tricks here and there, but the best stuff I've learned was from my, my wife's mother, who's Japanese. Traditional so, stuff? Traditional stuff, yeah. So tell me, just talk me through your menu here, what do you have? Well, at the moment, we are, our popular items are the, uh, the Super Salmon set, and as you can see, this is one. We have three salmon nigiri, salmon avocado roll, and a salmon maki. So is salmon always the most popular? It's the best seller at the moment, yes, right. definitely. Um, we have the same variation in brown rice. Oh, very um, obviously, healthy. Obviously, we've, we do do various other things as well. Right. Uh, we, we have a maki set, and this is, we do specifically for vegans and vegetarians as well. Okay, is that so, mushroom in the center? No, that's uh, aubergine teriyaki. Wow. So, and it's brown rice, so we do do specifically, specific things for vegans as well. And my eye is on the top shelf, the sashimi, which is my favorite. Yeah, this one is uh, that's also my favorite. So, this is um, the best part of the fish for me, because you have, when you have a fillet, you have the top bit which is on the back, right. which is curves over so you can see you have the white lines, that's the pieces you use uh, right. for, for the sashimi. And then there's the other side where you have the stomach, right. and that's the piece, we cut that and that's on the nigiri. Okay. So there's two separate pieces. And that tuna there, that's what my eye is on. Yeah, I mean, it's, we, the fish I use, I get, uh, it's all dependent on the, the local fishmonger. The fish of the day. I go right. see what he's got. He only had a very small piece of tuna this morning, so I grabbed that. Um, and I kept that for the uh, sashimi set. And that's accompanied with seaweed, is it? Yeah, that's accompanied with seaweed. I mean, traditionally, it's with daikon, it's like lots of salads. Nori, is it? Yeah. And right. But I like, to, I like to keep it simple, because at, at the end of the day, people generally just eat the fish with the, with the yeah. sauce. Yeah. So obviously you put a bit of seaweed in and then it continues. Well, seaweed. you're obviously passionate about it. Oh, I love it. And let's have a, a chat about your green teas. Yeah, we, we, we got, um, we got green teas and white teas. Right. And obviously being summer, we're selling them chilled. You can have them hot as well if you like. Okay. But with this one here, for example, we have the Jasmine cold brew, which is um, what we do with that is we get a jar of filtered water. Right. Add the uh, silver needle jasmine leaves to that at night time, put it in the fridge and just leave it. Come oh, in the okay. morning and it brews itself. We then strain it, put it in the jug and And the, the other jug. teas, the green tea and the ginger and honey? The green tea uh, is slightly different. It's not a cold brew. I'll come in the morning, I'll make the tea yeah. and then I'll, I'll pour it over ice and I'll chill it. And then we sell it, we sell it as a chilled tea. And the ginger and honey is actually my favorite. What we're doing with that is we peel the ginger very very thinly slice it add some honey hot water and then let it chill and then strain it and that's it 
Amazing. But the, the trick, well, the trick is, is, is not just the ingredients, it's the fact that we're using the filtered water. Right. So you get a nice clean taste and you don't have to mess about at all these different bits and pieces. You just let the ingredients speak. And how long has this place been here? Uh, just over four weeks now. Um, and oh, it's, so it's, it's early days yet. Yeah, yeah, early days. Oh, well, Exciting. So, it. yeah. So Thank you very much for your time. No problem at all. You're welcome. All now, as best. I said in the beginning, Sushi is my favorite thing. I could actually eat sushi every day and not complain. And Ron has kindly enough offered to give me a sample of his great cuisine. So here we go. As I'm on camera, I have to do this with chopsticks. I have to look authentic, you know. Now apparently you have to eat the ginger with it, don't you? The ginger is more of a, is a, a palate cleanser. It's not okay. Actually, it's not actually okay. uh, an ingredient. You right. Put a slice of fish, and then if you want to move on to a different type of fish. Right. And this is my wasabi here. You have a bit of ginger just to clean your palate. Okay. Your okay. Right. Here we go. I think I might have to move in with Ron. I don't think his wife will be very happy. Delicious. Well, we're still in Pop-Up Brixton and we're at the third stop of the day, which is, as you can see, Mama's Jerk. And we're here with Papi. Tell me about yourself, sir. Yeah, I'm Papi, um, I'm Papa Brixton. We are here like uh, three weeks ago already. Uh, we're doing well. Three weeks? Uh, yeah, oh, three so weeks it's already. new? Yeah, it's new. It's quite right. new. And it's getting famous every each week. Like, we're getting famous, more famous, famous. So, so. Right. And yeah. you love it? Have you, how long yeah, have you been yeah, cooking? Yeah. Uh, about eight years now. Oh, about so you're a professional. Now. Yeah. About four years for this kind of market, like street food. Right. Yeah. Food. Um, okay, yeah, where were you before? I uh, used to work in a kitchen, like right. uh, as a chef, but, you know, it's a bit quiet inside the kitchen, like, yeah. uh, you know, changing, we've seen, seen like same people every day, but now it's something different, we talk with customers, changing with new people, like... So how is business? Are you busy yet? Uh, yeah, 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 we're getting busy, busy after a week, week after week. We're well, busy. talk me through what we have here. Here we have the leg meal. Uh -huh. of, uh, the best we go here and uh, the wings is like a side. And this is all jerk, is it? It's all jerk. All it's jerk, all right, jerk. okay. Yeah. And over here, this looks like some That's kind of the, vegetarian. Yeah, we got veggie stuff here. We got like a sweet potato cake. We got my mix of coconut and kidney beans and okay. uh, plantain. And that's a salt fish cake. Salt fish okay. as well? Yeah, salt fish. Well, look at that. You've got everything here from salt fish to jerk chicken. And it's served with, I recognize this. Rice and peas, that's right. Yeah, some meat or sweet potato, and uh, you have some salad and uh, coleslaw. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, sir. No problem. No, my for pleasure. You, for you, I um, might gonna make something special for you. Are you? Yeah, it's a best seller. I mean, for a treat, it seems. Yeah, this is one of our best seller. It's a chicken wrap. I'm gonna make a chicken wrap. Come on, hurry up, I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> oh, looks like my cameraman's gonna get some too. I'm not sure about that. I thought it was for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm gonna eat this on camera now and sample. Mama's Jerk, pop up Brixton Station Road. Make sure you get down here. Mm, I can smell my food coming. Hey, wow. Cuban. Cuban hay, And what's that, Samphire? Some seaweed and samphire salad. Okay. Sea as we call it, and some chipotle sauce and some homemade ketchup as well. Right. Please join me. Sit down. Tell me a bit about your your produce. 
Well, this was set up uh, a couple of years ago by uh, a couple of Irish guys called um, Barry and Simon. Who, Barry, which is me. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And uh, they started off as a market stall in Dublin. Right. And um, it grew from there to opening up a restaurant in Brussels, which became very successful. And then they've opened up the restaurant in Camden last year, and this is their first venture south of the river. And what's it called? Hook. It's called Hook. Uh, yeah. it's Simple called name to remember. Now look at this. Now talk me through this. What's this? So you've got a garlic truffle sauce. You've got a sea bream, which is got lemon and basil infused uh, tempura batter. I'm sure his sea bream looked bigger than mine, but that's we'll talk about that later. Uh huh. And you've got some seaweed salt and tonkut. And this is the samphire and seaweed salad. Yeah, yeah. With right. Dressing. Well, thank you. No worries. Enjoy. I'm I'll sure it'll taste now. even better than it looks. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely <laughs> <gonna try. laughs> All right. Thank you. And we're going in. Excuse my fingers. Divine, fresh, delicious fish at Hook. Pop up Brixton Station Road. Be there. Excuse me, how come my cameraman's eating before me? That can't be right. <laughs> Well, what a great day we've had in Brixton today from shop to shop, in particular at Pop-Up on Station Road. Well, I've eaten my way through Brixton, my belly pack up, I talk off my mouth, and there's nothing left. So I'm out of here and see you next time.